Oh, give me that. Mm, that sweet, sweet pussy. What's going on, guys? 90 Day Fiance. This is the last episode in the uh, episode that I downloaded. So apparently, these are like old episodes. Obviously, a lot of people are commenting that uh, they're posting them to they're posting them to the TLC UK. Uh, YouTube channel. I haven't seen these episodes before, so if they keep posting more, I'm gonna keep downloading them and talking shit about them. Because why the fuck not? If I haven't seen, they're new to me, okay? That's that's good enough. And his memory is about ten minutes, so everything's new to him. He's always so excited. Never mind. Let's just hop right into that shit. But twitchtv slash poppy I'm gonna start streaming this upcoming Monday, 8 p.m. to midnight, Monday through Friday, Central Time. Okay, baby, go on the app. Go on the website, go ahead, hit me with a follow. If you have the app, just go to Winebox Poppy. Just press follow, okay? It's a good time, it's a great time. Should, I think I think it will be. Haven't started yet. Mwah! After this long period now, and we still have the same problem. Wedding day! Oh! And he's 26! This dude is four years older than I am. Holy shit. I lost my job. Hmm? They let me go. Why? Now you lost your job means we lost everything. She's crying as if she didn't know that was the truth. I wasn't sure that the wedding will happen. In my country, if I do something bad, it don't affect the wife. Yeah, that's great and all. Uh, any guy who rocks those sunglasses, you can't trust him. That's just a fact. Sorry to any men that wear those sunglasses. Those aren't the sunglasses you'd be wearing out in public, okay? Just wear them when you feel like yelling at your family, wearing your wife beater, okay? Having really good sunglass etiquette is tough. It, it takes a fashion mindset, right? You have to know what works with your face and sculpts it perfectly, right? Like if your cheeks are uh, round and you look like a cue ball, you have to wear pointy alien glasses. But here is different. If Daniel do something bad, it will affect me. So I need to go to someone to explain me What's gonna happen if I get married? Nothing good. Not one good thing will come from it whatsoever. I aside from a green card. But then you're kind of obligated to stay here, so that's not really a win-win either. Mohammed? Yes. Old old chain. Mohammed Jibeli. Nice to meet How you. How are you? You're gonna trust this guy. You sure? I'm pretty sure that's what every single middle schooler looks like right now, but with a beard. He looks like he's having his first communion. Come on back. Okay. And what brings you in today, Mohammed? I want to ask about uh, the process of the fiancé visa. I'm surprised there's a computer in there, because you look very Amish. That beard needs some goddamn work. Why is Tim the Tat Man on 90 Day Fiancé? Are you here on a K-1 visa? Yes, K-1. Okay. When are you thinking of getting married? Today. Oh, wow. Wow, <laughs> you fuck? That's a little bit of a short notice, you know? That's why I came here this morning to know what, what will affect me if I get married. Well, uh, Mohammed, that's extremely vague. Uh, get the fuck out of my office, all right? I'll tell you a little bit how it works. So with the K-1 visa, mm -hmm. after you enter the country, you are required to get married with the 90 days. You know, if you close your eyes and you hear this man talk, you are definitely not imagining somebody who looks like him. If you don't want to get married, you're going to have to leave the United States. I want to know how long time it will take till I have that, I don't know how to say it, the green card. Now sometimes it could be a few months or eight months, ten months, a year. It just depends. That was the look of a man who just had to fuck a fat chick for eight months straight to get a green card. But I don't, I don't know why it takes so long time. Uh, there's a lot of fraud. And the immigration folks are concerned about that. When he was telling me all that information, I felt like getting married here in the States is not something easy. And I start understanding why people, they don't get married. What? I feel like a lot of people get married, especially when they shouldn't. What are you talking about? Are you talking about foreigners coming over here and getting married? Yeah, that I feel like is a bad idea. 117% of the time. And in addition, when you get married in Ohio, there are certain rights and privileges and obligations that each spouse has to the other. I kind of forgot they were in Ohio. This guy kind of looks exactly what I would assume all people from Ohio look like, man or woman. 
in, like in, in relation to property, in relation to debts. <laughs> He's like, oh wow, it's kind of ironic, Tony. Ironic, Tony! That you said that right there, because she just hit me with the bombshell of all debts. Nobody told me that before, because I don't know it. So now I would be responsible uh, for anything she do it after we get married. Essentially, you ultimately could be held responsible. Do mm -hmm. you have any other questions for me? No, you, may, you make me think about the getting married now, because it's not easy. I was about to say, how fucking old are you? Okay, he's 26 years old, and you're, now you're th the day you're supposed to get married. Now you think about it, now you're like, yeah, maybe I should actually take some thought into this, huh? I feel like a lot of people don't really look into it like you did, because, I mean, if they did, I'd probably be like, maybe you should get married if you're, like, really looking into it this deep. But that's, that's for normal couples. That's what I say to a, a normal two people getting married, right? And not these fucking losers. Of course, we already know, they're split up. They're not together. Wonder why, I mean, it seems like a perfect idea. It's really opened up his eyes, but you think, you think he'd do a quick little Google search, okay? I feel like all those questions could have been answered on Google. Just like the majority of fucking questions on Earth, by the way. That's not directly towards anybody on Earth, I'm just saying to everybody on Earth, if you have a question, throw that bitch into Google really quick before you ask the person, okay? Oh, whoa! That's over. That was the last part of that episode I downloaded. Now I gotta go see if uh, TLC UK posted anymore. And I'm gonna take all that shit, make fun of that shit. And uh, link me down below any other 90 Day Fiancés that I've missed. That I've missed, okay? Not ones that I've done, that I've missed. But if they're really boring, I don't think I'm gonna do them, obviously, because I can't, like, make something not boring. Like, that's incredibly difficult. Like, if they're just sitting there talking, and it's like, yeah, hey, hello, oh, that's what it takes to get married? Oh, I didn't know that. You gotta make it not, not boring. It's really difficult. It's only easy if there's a, a man, woman with a beard from Ohio. Isn't that where Logan and Jake Paul are from? Now I can put them in the tags. I wonder if they knew that guy. You think they bullet him a lot? Probably. Okay, guys! Thank you so much for watching. Smack that face right up there to subscribe if you haven't already. Two goddamn videos right over there. They're amazing. Bunch of Amish people. Every video over there is about the Amish. And right down here, guys, patreon.com slash wineboxpoppy. Link is also in the description below if you want to help support this channel and help it grow because getting new equipment allows us to do new and better things, okay? And right below, twitch.tv slash wineboxpoppy. Go on the app. Go on the website. Go ahead and send me a follow. We start Monday, 8 p.m. to midnight, Monday through Friday, Central Time. Give me a kiss, baby. Mwah.